Well, uh, thank you very much. Good morning to you too, and you are most welcome. I am Dr. Taiwo Akonde, Director of the Federal Polytechnic at Duikiti. And um, I will say a beautiful welcome to you. And I'm ready to also take your questions, whatever from those questions may take. Well, even before I became director, I've had the opportunity to travel to several countries. And I know that um, the IT world has, has taken a far greater route than it has done here. In addition, you know, one lives now in a global village. And um, I have been able to interface with colleagues around the globe. And I know that um, in several countries now, E-learning, blended learning is the key to reaching out to as many students as possible. Not only that, some people here in this country have had the opportunity to take online programs abroad. If not for e-learning, such would not have been possible. So even before I became rector, I had it as one of my cardinal programs that once the law permits me to uh, become director, I'm going to make sure that e-learning is introduced into um, the ICT culture of this institution. So that was what motivated me. Well, um, I spoke of the initial resistance to this. I want you to remember that uh, this has not been done in this institution before. Number one, number two, not many institutions in this country, we are into this, you know. The, what was in vogue was the traditional uh, pen on paper, chalk on chalkboard process. And so this was what I would call a markedly, you know, unexplored terrain. It was, even I myself did not have a full grasp. I just knew, I had the vision of, what was needed, but I myself didn't have the full grasp of it. But uh, what really helped me was the fact that um, I saw a project done by one of our staff, Engineer Momo, and I really got excited because I could see that what he did was in line with what I had had in my mind all along. And so I called him and I said, well, Engineer Momo, can you look for people of like minds. And he said, yes. Are you sure you can put this in place for an institution? And he said, yes. So we started that way. But, uh, you know, we didn't know how far the road we had to travel was. We didn't know what, you know, we are letting ourselves in for. But I thank the Lord that uh, because of the determination of Engineer Momo and his team, their relentless um, pursuit of knowledge, it has become possible to put a very good e-learning platform in place in our institution today. You will, you will find out that, um, in fact, all the schools in the Polytechnic have now accepted this, and there is a robust engagement of both staff and students in e-learning activities. So the challenge, the greatest challenge I would say is funding because um, we do not have the requisite fund to drive the process. We need equipment, we need facilities, we need robust internet service, we need constant electricity supply. All these of course are daunting challenges. But because of the enthusiasm of the e-learning group, we on the part of management are trying our best to see that uh, we give them total support despite these you know, mitigating challenges. Well, I want to thank the Lord because um, it is quite apparent that our institution is one of the leading lights in this regard. I am not sure that uh, we can have up to four institutions in this country that have actually achieved the milestones that my own team here have achieved. Okay.